Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about my Sansevieria plants in semi-hydroponics. Um, now, it's interesting because, <clears throat> excuse me, I've grown Sansevieria, or, you know, they call this Dracaena now too. Um, I've grown it in water culture, I've grown it in traditional well-draining soil, but by far the easiest way for me to grow these guys is semi-hydro and uh, I'll explain why. Uh, first of all, you can see, uh, for example, this was a leaf, a leaf cutting that I stuck in the LECA. Most of these, except for, all of these except for one are in LECA by the way. This is a leaf cutting and it grew a new baby after growing roots. Same thing back here, this was the mother leaf, it grew a new plant from the mother leaf. And this is just a whole bunch of baby plants. This one is in lava rock. <laughs> it's kind of leaning over. I'd probably have to repot that one. Uh, and this one here was just a baby from a leaf prop, but the mother leaf, I don't believe, I don't think this is the mother leaf. Maybe it is, I'm not sure. Anyway, what I found to be a trick to keep these guys going is I water them and I let them dry out completely. And by completely, I mean I water them once every two weeks usually. So they get watered, they dry up, and then they wait another week, and then I water them. So you can see right now, these guys are completely dry. Not a drop of water in there. And they're fine. The leaves are still supple, they're not curling, they're not wrinkling. All of them are bone dry right now. So I know it's time to water them. Um, if I do keep a reservoir, it's just a small amount of water, like maybe down here, that gets um, used up by the plant and then it dries out. So again, my key to success with these guys in semi-hydro is letting them dry out completely. And they have really strong growth from that. You can see the colors are nice, they're under LEDs and uh, doing really well. This one, let's see what happened here. Oh, these are old leaves. And the new leaves are growing here, you can see, much healthier. I'm going to leave the old leaves on because obviously they're still making some sort of food even though they don't look so good. Uh, eventually I'll probably cut them off, maybe stick them in water to, to root them. But anyway, that is what I do. I don't even give these guys nutrient right now. I just give them water and the LED light. So um, if I gave them some nutrients, they probably would grow a lot quicker, maybe even stronger, bigger. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to see what would work. Uh, I used to grow these guys keeping a reservoir. That didn't work. Sometimes they would do fine. Other times the plants would rot from the root up. So uh, I definitely recommend if you want to grow these semi-hydroponically, uh, leka, lava rock, whatever the case may be, let them dry out completely, bone dry between waterings. And it's easy. Like there have been times when I haven't been here in this grow space for like a month. And they've been fine. These guys are pretty sturdy and they can survive anything. So that is all she wrote. If you have any questions about how I'm growing my Sansevieria, um, any details about anything that I didn't cover, just leave a comment. I will get right back to you. If you have not, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. And I will see you in the next video.